Hello and welcome to Know About Tethys Expats. This is episode one. I'm Nigel and I'll introduce you to my wife, Sue. Uh, sheep, sheep ums. This episode starts in, well really it starts in 2022 when we decided while pet sitting in the UK that we decided we wanted to get a narrowboat. We did actually go on a, uh, a rental before we decided we wanted a narrowboat just to make sure we both liked it. We ended up renting one near Rugby. Uh, it was September, uh, first day out, very little instruction. It was raining, we made our way down the, the North Oxford Canal and uh, I think it was probably within half an hour, maybe an hour, Sue looked at me and just said, this is fabulous, where do I sign up? And so we started thinking about how to get our own narrow boat. We started looking at used boats, looking at the different options, wide beams, narrow beams, uh, what length we might want. We did a lot of research. We watched a ton of videos on YouTube. Thank you to everybody who does YouTube videos. Absolutely love them. Um, and we, we, after looking at a lot of different boats, we came to the conclusion that we really wanted to go electric. We wanted to go green um, and, and think about the environment. So we wanted an electric boat that would be solar powered. And so we looked around for who could build one for us. And we found uh, we could get a build slot with Oakhams that would get, get us our boat for the 2023 season. So we selected Oakhams. And so once we had chosen our builder, we actually had to head back to the States because our time in the UK was up. Having made the decision to buy a boat, we actually had to go things, through things like, well, what do we name the boat? What color do we want to make the boat? And all sorts of design features inside. Uh, the biggest choice, you know, the biggest things were really the name, which I think we settled on Tethys fairly early. Tethys is the goddess of uh, fresh water. The colour we finally decided on was a Celis Teal, which is an Aston Martin colour. It just sparkles in the sunlight. We really love the way that, that colour brings out the blue in the, uh, in the water. And then we had to decide on things like fabrics for the uh, sofa, the dinette, uh, cushions. We decided on a grey cushion with red sofa and, and red and grey dinette. Um, so we, those were sort of some of the fast decisions we made. We loved the way the, the uh, sofa came out. It looks fabulous. And then we had to just dream about going on canals and, and drifting down the canal like this, listening to the birds. One of the things that is difficult in managing a build from so far away is the fact that we can't go and visit the builder. So Oakens were good enough to share with us some video updates of the builders it was going through. I'm going to share a compilation of those with you here so you can get an idea of what we were seeing as Liam was sending us updates on the boat and the implementation of all those many decisions we had to make. Just doing you a quick video, I've only got 6% on my phone. So all the engine and battery feeds are all in, they're down there. So we're gonna get started on the engine next week. The electrical feeds are in, data cabling feeds are in, all the joinery is done. Um, we just need to know whether you're using the standard handles on joinery or whether you want to pick something yourself. Um, all the electrics are done, the kitchen's not been wired because we just need to find out what you're doing on your splashback. Uh, cupboard doors have been taken off, oven, dinettes are all in, radiator is going to go in tomorrow, uh, cupboards are all in, electrics are all wired, holes ready to be cut for the stove, so I just need to know the stove back. So all the electrics are done, all the handles are on, doors are in, shower is in, we just need to uh, cement board it tomorrow so then we can do the tiling. So, radiator's going in tomorrow, 
Handles are all done. Kitchen worktops have been sent off today. Nice big shower, that's beautiful. Rye is currently taking apart the plasma. I think he just enjoys playing more than he does doing. Have a quick look inside the boat. So all the doors are in, we're giving it a good clean through. All the cable lights are so in. So we're going to fit the kitchen doors this afternoon. Uh, Josh is going to put those doors on, so that will all be done. And then I can get the countertops in manufacture on Tuesday. All of the roof has been sanded on its first layer of primer. So he's using a high build primer. Now. The kitchen, just really quick. Your splashbacks in, your doors are done. This is going to get coloured next. Um, appliances, the fridge and the oven, they've taken the fridge out and um, they're about to fit the oven. There's the hob and then worktops have been picked up on Tuesday. All of the handles and socket fascias are all on. In the bathroom, uh, we've got the toilet to fit, which they have toilet connections. We've got the shaver ports, there's me. Hello. Shower. We've got the shower head and one up to fit, so we can look beautiful. Paintwork has been done on the roof. We're going to go and do solar on the roof and then we'll do all the anti slip afterwards. After this one, it'll have three coats today. Yeah. And tomorrow, I'm going to give it another one, maybe two. Then we'll have to have two actually, because the colour's really funny. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, I'm just going to do you a quick video. So, well, you tell me, right? Where, where, where are we at? Tonight we've got our gin set in, that's just about to get cool and in. Okay. You, you connect, connect it all up? up? All connected up. Yep, excellent. Um, E-line motor. Yep. That's all connected up, minus the earth, which I'm going to put on next. Is that the earth switch? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that's all connected up to the coolant lines and the tanks? Yeah. All plumbing's done. Yep. Which is down here and down there. Yep. It's a bit we've on the dregs now, aren't we? We've well, we've it. only got another five weeks left. I've got to go and pull it now. Yeah. So. So, I'm plumbing in the dishwasher in your fancy, very, very fancy, lovely, luxurious kettle pack at the minute. So there's your kitchen, there's that fancy hide and slide with the steamy bit. Handles for a man is going to sort tomorrow. We'll just turn those lights off, let's turn them on. Ooh, fancy! Alright, so there's your kitchen area, the sink. Shelves and doors in. Shelves. Drawers are. Need the handles on. Fridge. Holstery. That's in my office. Light switches there. Before we do. There's the blinds on the window. And there. The stove. That's your flue piece that goes up on the roof. Looks really nice together those. Really, really nice. Bathroom. There's your kitchen. We had to decide on 
the sign writing as well. So we worked with the marvelous Charlotte Hopwood of Seawood Sign Writing. Charlotte was good enough to work with us over an extended period of time to figure out the lettering for Tethys. Great input from Charlotte. Don't smudge. I'm doing a quick video. So where are we at, Charlotte? Give me a little something. Where are we at? Are we got to put any more colour on this, or we're about there? Or you're gonna highlight in the letters. A highlight in the letters. Okay. What list is it? Beautiful. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Marvelous. Have you done anything on the back? Oh, that looks really good. Have you done anything on this side? Not yet. All right, so that's as it was yesterday. That's yesterday. That's today. Is there anything else to go on that, or is that it now? No, that's that beautiful. Marvellous. All right, well, thank you very much. Charlotte did an absolutely fabulous job with uh, sign writing. We love the way Tethys came out. We uh, we actually took a poll on whether to put the trident in for the Y, uh, and the majority of people seemed to like it, so we left it in. Thought that she, the waves on the bow looked fabulous, the image on the stern looks fabulous. We were just couldn't be happier with everything, that the, the way it came out. Loved the whole thing. Charlotte did a great job. Definitely recommend Charlotte to anybody who's looking to get sign writing done. Before we knew it, we were off to the UK on a plane with Sheepums. After arriving, we drove up to the Pennines near Oakham's and had ourselves a meal at a pub. And then the next morning, we were off to see our boat for the first time. And we took these photographs that very first morning. Uh, absolutely loved the way it all came out. It, she looked fabulous. Um, so we spent some time just browsing around and just getting soaking it all in. And then we spent the rest of the day, I think, unpacking Amazon packages because we had all of the stuff we needed for the boat delivered to Oakham so we could have it installed. Because, of course, we couldn't take anything from anywhere else to bring it there because uh, we could only bring what we could bring from the, from the States. And that was the first morning. Really loved the way everything looked. It all came together really nicely. And uh, the paint worked fabulous. The sunshine was out. And we had a great time. And then we decided we were going to head out and do an RYA helmsman course. Sheepums tagged along, of course. And then uh, that was that was really for a couple of days in between arriving and when uh, when Tethys was going to be ready to be shipped. So that was well worth doing and highly recommend it to anybody who's thinking about doing an RYA course. Uh, we certainly learned a thing or two that we didn't know previously to doing it. And it was just a fun two days as well. We, we really enjoyed it. And then the day had arrived. It was time to launch Tethys. So we headed back up to Oakham's in the Pennines. We watched this massive crane extract Tethys from the shed. It was a little bit nerve wracking. <laughs> I speeded it up. It took forever to get her out. Uh, banged the side once, thought we were going to take the shed out. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was, it was fun to watch. We were glad we were there to see her come out. Uh, nerve wracking and fun at the same time, but uh, definitely glad we did that. So we got to see Tethys being pulled out of the shed and then uh, loaded onto a flatbed uh, so she could be driven down to the marina. Um, and we left shortly after. We actually we saw them prepping Morningstar to come out. Morningstar was being built alongside Tethys. Um, and you might have seen that in some of the videos. Anyway, so once we saw her loaded onto the truck we headed off down the road ourselves um, and we actually never saw her till she arrived in the marina because we got there before she did so I've no idea how we passed her but we did somewhere 
and then uh, we watched her being uh, unloaded off the truck onto a big hoist at the marina and uh, then deposited into the water and then shortly afterwards we uh, saw Morningstar arrive and watch her, her being launched as well. the moment the moment she touches the water for the first time and we get to know whether or not she leaks and of course she didn't leak uh, which is great to know and just had a little bit of a lean to one side which, which was fixed with some ballast rocks thrown in the boat which uh, were going to be replaced later I think they're still there right now and uh, everything looked good ship shape uh, they did some final uh, prep work in the afternoon then we're going to head off first thing in the morning the next morning there's morning star coming in just following Tethys. Um, they were both moored alongside each other, ready for the next day. John and Johnny doing some final paint prep and then we headed off down the canal to the marina at Crick. And we got there just in time to head to the pub for some dinner and uh, a nice sunset. And then before long, we were heading out for cruises uh, like this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want to see the rest of the series where we go from Crick to a, a 629 mile journey around the canals, down the Avon, up the Severn, uh, we went on the Leon Goffin, we went up to the, the uh, Waterways Museum. We had a great time over four months traveling around. Uh, we're gonna share that with you in the next, um, next few episodes. So do stay around and, and watch those. If you want to be alerted as to when a new episode gets uploaded, just click the subscribe button on YouTube. It's free. There's no cost to do it. And it just lets you know when we've uploaded a new, um, a new video. If you hit the bell icon, you'll also get an alert when we upload a video. So you'll know that. Thanks for following and really appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, click like that also uh, will help. I'm sure uh, other people would appreciate that. Um, if you want to see more uh, things, if you want to see different things, just send some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. And what happens when we get near that boat? Mm -hmm.